Uh, we've got Terry from Texas here. How you been, Terry, since been last great. year? Great. Or I saw you, you were RTR? Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's the last time I saw you was over there. What have you been doing since January? Spent the summer in New Mexico. Fell in love with New Mexico. Yeah. Got that 225 a year state pass for the parks. Mm hmm. I've been to 18 of the 34 Not parks. Not bad rent, right? 225 for 13 months. Yeah. <laughs> you don't pay a nickel to go into camp. Life hack. Yeah. That's it, brilliant. If you need electricity, you pay $4 a night. <laughs> Man, yeah. why would you do anything different? Really? That's fantastic. Um, so, what we're kind of getting fr uh, from people is um, kind of your. Your background story, how you ended up uh, living this life, because I know that you were in a totally conventional, you know, life oh, before. I was in the corporate world, uh, Xerox Corporation, Prudential Insurance, sold RVs my last 20 years in sales. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't buy an RV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too many components. You know, too much. Well, so uh, how'd you turn into such a hippie? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, I lost my wife. It'll be three years ago, February the 2nd. And I sat around the house for about a year waiting to die. It didn't happen. So one day I said, to hell with it, I'm out of here. Call the realtor at 11 o'clock on May the 5th, listed my house. She called me at 1 o'clock the next day. She said, well, we have an offer, but it's not what you're asking. I said, well, how bad is it? She said, as a matter of fact, they're offering you 16500 more than you listed it for. I had two buyers in a bidding war. But I'd already had Yard of the Month twice, and I'd put in, uh, one day I was sitting there, and I hate vacuuming, <laughs> before I decided to sell it. I said, I need to get rid of this carpet. So 30 minutes later, all that carpet had been pulled up, and it was on the curb. <laughs> so I got my floors prepped up, and I laid porcelain wood plank. It looked mm. just like a hardwood floor, but mm. it was porcelain. So I, it was move-in ready. Wow. Fresh paint, everything. So I left uh, July the 6th, 2016. And haven't looked back. Well, you did for a split second, right? Well, three days. <laughs> when I left, I had my bed made. I had the air, air conditioner installed in the back door. And had my Max Air fan in. Mm -hmm. And all the shit I was taking with me, I just put in plastic bags and threw it in. Mm. So about the third day, back there looking for something in plastic bags. Mm -hmm. I said, what have I done? I thought, man, I'm homeless. Mm. So I went to Cortez, had my solar installed and then started working on it from then. Mm -hmm. So after I got it finished out, I've been happy. That's yeah. My, that's my cocoon. So it was about a three day turnaround of like, what have I done till you were like, oh. Oh yeah. Now I get yeah. it. After my solar was on. Well, so how did you even conceive of living this life? Bob Wills. Beautiful. I started watching him after my wife passed away and just, I couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. And when I was a kid, one of my favorite movies was The Living Desert. Ah. Walt Disney, ah. narrated by Rex, uh, Rex Allen, mm -hmm. and I was mesmerized about the desert. Mm. That's the first place I wanted to go. Very cool. And I, I love the desert. And so Bob and his people that he was showing on his channel kind of uh, showed you it could be done. Oh yeah. Presented another option. Exactly. Yeah. So why sit around and be miserable? Yeah. Paying, start, start paying you know, two hundred dollars plus a, a month on electricity and all the other utilities. Yeah. So how are you different in the last, uh, you've been on the road for how long? A year and a half. A year and a half. How are you different than you were a year and a half ago? I don't hurry. Mm. Hurry is out of my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And I've met some of the greatest people I've ever met. You've made some good friends. Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Yeah. People come fa become family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you take care of each other. They take care of you. You take care exactly. of them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I've never seen a, a more giving group in my life. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I think it's how humans would be if they were in the proper kind of uh, environment and the proper well, kind of lifestyle. They're not, you know, trying to keep up with the Joneses out here. Exactly. You just do your own thing. <laughs> exactly. We don't have these all-consuming jobs that don't give us space to connect That's with it. one another. Yeah. So, um, what do you what do you miss about sticks and bricks, if anything? Not a thing. <laughs> Nothing. So I what, don't miss the yard work, the housework. Yeah. None of that. And you've got your rig just how you want it. You put a lot yeah. of work into making yeah. it pretty sweet. And you know, the first thing people will ask is, how can you live in a little bitty van like that? Well, I don't live in the van. I live in the I world. I sleep in the van. Yeah. When I get up, I'm outside all day long. Yeah, on that sweet bike. It, it, it's almost like a 
cocoon. Mm -hmm. It's my, my safety net, you know. Oh yeah, it's a great place yeah. to retreat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't suck you in like an apartment or a home no. does. It forces you out into the world. And I've got my dog with me, Zoe. Mm -hmm. So Little Zoe. Hey, hey. Um, what is your favorite part of this life? Just meeting all the different people. Yep. Yeah, and seeing different things. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very cool. I love it. Uh, what are your What are your family? I know you've got kids. I've got two daughters, a stepson. I've got seven grandkids and one great grandson. Mm -hmm. So what do they all think about it? I mean, it means you can probably see I, them. I thought I'd lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and now? My daughter. Leaves me and texts his daddy, I'm so glad you found your happy. Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Once they see the result. Exactly. Yeah. Now I left Fort Worth, I weighed 206. Wow, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, I, I'm 150 now. Wow. Yeah. Better health. Oh, yeah, I feel a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. I haven't been sick a day. Well, I, I've had two incidents running to the emergency room. Really? Uh, I was up at uh, Black Canyon and I needed something out of the van and instead of walking around, I thought, well, how do I like to reach from here? So I stepped up on the back tire, got fully extended, uh, my foot slipped off, mm. and I broke two ribs. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, I was bad shape. So I finally healed up from that. I was down at Cabal Lake. I had my guitar out one night and I sitting there just having fun. And I kept noticing the insects and I kept swatting them away. I got up the next morning, I couldn't open my eyes. Oh my gosh. I've never been around no seams. Oh, those are the worst, yeah. But I, I got up, I had to open my eyelid with my finger. You were all swollen. I was swollen massive. Mm -hmm. So uh, I couldn't wear my glasses, so I got dressed, cranked it up, I drove 20 miles to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Holding your lids holding open. One eye oh open my god. While I was driving. So they put me on IVs. They stopped counting at 150 bites. Oh. All of my upper shoulders, my neck, my face. You know, it's interesting because in my line of work, like I've dealt with a lot of those little suckers, and some of our some of our participants are not phased by them. Right. Some people don't get bit. Some yeah. people get bit. But oh. among the people who get bit, some people react terribly, oh, and other people don't reaction. react very badly. But yeah, they're nasty little suckers. I'd rather be covered with chiggers. I know. It's that bad. Yeah. So there's a downside to uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> to everything, you know, but it's still worth it. It's still But all in all, I, I wouldn't trade it. Are you going to, tonight, I think there's an acoustic thing. Are you going to join you in? Did. Cool. Have, so that song that I did at uh, RTR, you asked me about that Casey Musgrave song that I yes, sang. Yes, yes. Have you learned that one? No. Do you play it? No. I think I'll sing it tonight. Do it. Yeah. There's plenty of good guitarists around that can follow you. Oh, around. Dave's got it. Yeah. So cool. Awesome. I love when you play. Because you play different stuff than most folks do. I do country, but I don't come around. Nobody likes the country. I like the country you do. I like it when you do it. <laughs> They're charming songs. It's cute. I like the funny stuff. Yeah. You like the funny ones. Cool. Well, thanks for talking to us, Well, Terry. you're welcome. What's your, what's your uh, plan next? Where are you going from here? My plan is to have no plan. Aha, nice. Go where the wind takes you. I'll probably go back to New Mexico. Awesome. Are you coming to RTR? Oh, yeah. Cool. I'll and and then and then after that, New Mexico? Or are you going back well, to New Mexico? I hung out at uh, Blue Water Lake, or Blue Water Casino, for three months. Really? I qualified for the platinum card, so I get two two nights at the hotel every week. Oh, that's I nice. I get free food, two nights concert week. tickets. And free food yeah. and concert tickets. Are Five you kidding? drinks a day. What do you do to get that? Theater tickets. The first night I walked in, I won $1,800 on the table. So I messed around and played it back. But in the meantime, I qualified for that platinum card. By playing? I don't, yeah, I, I've never playing. done casinos, yeah. so I don't know how yeah, it works. It's, it's the amount of time you play. You get points. Okay, cool. And so, that lasts for how long that you have those perks? That's a year. No way. Yeah, yeah I left in March and I went back after I got my room. No way. Yeah. So do you make friends when you're doing that? Oh yeah, all over the casino. Do you convert anybody to this lifestyle? A lot of people want to. But... Some of them will eventually. Yeah. It takes a while. It's got to ruminate for a while. But yeah, people always it's look at it. It's a big step. Most people just can't. You know, I didn't even think about that. I just, yeah, I'm going to do it. That's what you have to do. Because yeah. people always say, I wish I could do that. Think long, think That's wrong. Think long, think right wrong. There. Yeah, just That's act. It. I've always been impulsive anyway. Yeah. That's honestly, it's what you have to do because you'll psych yourself out otherwise. There's a million reasons not to do anything. Exactly. Yeah. And then you just jump in. Just get out of your comfort zone. Yep. But all of us inspire people to, you know, like someone's going to do it because of each, each one of sure. us, you know, so.
You're welcome, everybody. That's it. That's it. Just here to help. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks so much. You're Jerry. welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, again. you too. We'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye.